33 and I've struggled with acne my entire life. Be it my awful diet, stress, or just oily bad luck, I couldn't get it under control until I found my seven piece miracle, Paytas Miracle Elixir. In partnership with Charlotte Wilson, founder and CEO of GlowSkinEnhancement.com, we found the miracle combination to work on any skin type. Over the past year, we have perfected this formula to help with all hormonal skin conditions. It really feels too good to be true, but it is it. Miracles happen at trishskin.com. What's up? Welcome to Cooking with Trish. Cooking with Trish is the show on YouTube where I cook by following other people's recipes on YouTube. So as always, I will link below the recipe that I'm following. Today's recipe is by, his name's, I think his name's Farnham. I think it's Jordan Farnham. I don't know. I, I, I don't know him. I was going to say I know him as Farnham. I don't know him, but like that's how I know his name. So Jordan Farnham. More seasoning here on YouTube, like shout out. Like I feel like I've already apologized a thousand times to Jacqueline, but like again, so I apologize to her and Farnham because I totally was like talking smack on his channel, and I I just secretly loved it. I've, I've said it, but I'm gonna reiterate. Like I secretly was jealous. Someone was just like doing a cooking channel, which is something I've always wanted to do. Like I know I'm not before. like literally Moses set up these lights. Let me bless his heart, but like. <laughs> We have glam core lights, you know what I mean? Like if it wasn't for Moses, it'd be, we'd be in like a yellow, like yellow lit kitchen. But um, yeah, I think I was just jealous that someone was doing a cooking show and also someone could cook. I'm not a cook, I don't cook if you know anything about me. Well, if you know anything about me, you know I don't cook. But if you don't know anything about me, like I have literally never cooked before I moved into this house that had this like amazing kitchen. Like everyone's like, oh, a Sub-Zero fridge and oh, a Viking stove. And I'm like, I don't know what that means, but like I should probably take advantage of this. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I even bought a deep fryer. I'm not gonna use it today because he used it, but I'm not gonna use it today because I like frying things in the oil, and I also bought a waffle maker because I've been craving Belgian waffles. So Farnham, if you have like a crazy cool Belgian waffle recipe, uh, let me know. But yeah, we're gonna make some buffalo chicken wings. I saw this on Jacqueline's story actually originally. Um, I mean, I'm subscribed to Farnham, but she said that these were like the best. I feel like I'm such a Jacqueline simp now, and like I think more so than before. Like I never really okay, whatever. I was gonna say I never like I didn't want to be like I don't want to come across like as a creepy fan, but like maybe now I'm a creepy fan. But like I never really did like watch too many because I just don't. I also don't do makeup. I'm also a really bad makeup artist. What you see today, I had my makeup and hair done, so I actually don't do makeup either. But also, before I forget, Sapo 2005, I don't know, this set might be sold out by the time you see it. We ordered the most stock of this and it was still available as of filming this, but if it's not available, blah, but if it's, uh, we have other stuff up. Second launch is June 14th, so I don't know when you're seeing this, so this could be up. But once it's sold out, it's sold out. So if you wanna check it out, Sapo 2015, 2015, 2005.com, Sapo 2005.com. And Front of Me's merch comes out July 6th. So good. Okay. Let's get into chicken. <laughs> like I said, I am not, I don't even have a crew, but here, we're just gonna, we're gonna just film right here. So I'll show you what we need. So, the, okay, first and, for, first and foremost, we're doing wings and drumsticks. So I'm gonna just do the plain drumsticks for Moses because he don't think he don't like the sauce. But we're still gonna have him try the sauce. And let's be real, I don't even really like sauce either, but these are so good. So that's, I mean, according to everybody, it's so good. So I kind of want to try, sorry, my leg's super close, yeah. I kind of want to try. So the first thing he did was, oh, he like cut a chicken. Oh no, oh no, he cut this chicken up. I thought I bought the kind that I didn't have to cut. Up. Okay, we're gonna just, we're gonna just do it the Farnham way. Let me just, give me a minute. So I just had to clean this board because I made quesadillas last night. So this is gonna be, ugh annoying I thought I already bought them pre broken so I'm not really sure how to do this okay <laughs> oh my god this looks like so much work already I'm already over it you know what I I think I straight up cook these like this <laughs> in I don't even do preparation I just straight up cook them like this okay so he does this whole thing where you can like feel the joints This part I don't like. Okay, so you're gonna cut the joints. Like right at the joint. I don't think I'm putting, oh, there it is. Ugh! Why is this so hard? He said he could feel a whole thing. I'm cutting at the joint. Not, it's not it. Damn, I'm already giving up. Why? Okay. <laughs> I 
Okay, we're gonna go back to that joint. Let's try another one. So. Okay, that's the joint. And why, it should be easy, right? What the hell? Y'all, I'm not gonna get past the first step. I thought this was gonna be easy. Does this go? Because then there's a joint here too. Unless it's not supposed to be easy. I'm gonna have to Google. You guys, what? I need Moses and he went to the store. I'm gonna be here five hours doing this. I don't understand. I don't understand. Oh my God, the chicken is bleeding. Oh my God, the chicken is bleeding. No. Mm. Okay. So I think this is the trash one. We're gonna trash that. And then I think we just saw through it. Oh my God, someone somewhere said screen that put it in the wrong way. Holy cow, my knives need to be sharper. Maybe I have the wrong kind of knife. Okay, to be continued. I don't, let me just get one of these on camera, damn. I looked up like easy ways to cut chicken and literally they say it's like easy. This is more like a saw, like I'm sawing chicken. <laughs> this is actually gonna take me an hour. I said to cut the joints. All the chicken's gonna be off this joint if I don't. Oh my god. Sorry, this is like stressing me out so much. Mm. My knife's gonna be dull as hell. through the bone. Shouldn't this be way easier? My superhuman, oh, it's bloody. <laughs> it's a bloody chicken. Oh, we separated it, kind of. Oh, <laughs> oh there's blood. Okay, we're back. Sorry if that traumatized anyone. We cleaned it up, I think, okay. There has to be an easier way. So this one is cutting a little easier. Oh. That one cut came off super easy. So I don't know, y'all. All right, let's just, sorry, that kind of traumatized me. So I apologize in advance if it traumatized anyone else. We're trying not to traumatize anybody in the cooking of this chicken. Okay, yeah, okay, that's better. See, I'm getting somewhere. All right, so. I guess it, I looked it up, it can bleed a little. Please let me know if it's not supposed to bleed. But I guess if you cut a vein or something, it'll bleed. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think we're supposed to like pre. Okay. I thought this was gonna be way easier. That, like it's, ugh, it's doable, but oh my God. All right, so. <laughs> Oh, okay, so I just caught all that chicken and it does bleed, I guess. 
I don't know. Maybe it's not supposed to. I don't know. We'll see. But someone said the buttermilk thing like soothes. I don't know. All right. So now we're putting it on a paper towel per Jordan's instructions to get keep the moisture out. We don't want that moisture. But they look cute and they look like wings. So we're going to take them and place. Oh my God. The, the cutting board is. Okay. Sorry. Usually I don't mind like raw chicken when I'm making like chicken breast, but this is like, this is like another level for real, but that's okay. We're working with it. He wants drumsticks too. I feel like this is going to be a lot of chicken. I don't know. I already opened that, but let me just, do you know what I mean? I feel like, oh, we'll just put a couple drumsticks in there for good measure. All right, so now we are going to do the batter. That was, but okay. We're gonna do the batter. I did wash my hands. I'm gonna try and TikTok this at the same time. So, see if I can remember, remember this. I literally just like washed it once and then. So, I think it was two cups of buttermilk and then one cup of, no, one tablespoon of hot sauce and then the rest were teaspoons. So, two cups of buttermilk. How many cups is this? I think it's better to have more. We're gonna just put the whole thing in because I think it's better to have more because we have a lot of chicken. So I put the whole thing of buttermilk. Then it was Moses. One tablespoon of hot sauce. Why is that not coming out good? Ooh, it's spicy. Let's just hold my scared. Just do butter. Okay. One tablespoon. Oh. One tablespoon hot sauce. Is that more than a tablespoon? Probably, let's not make it too over the top. That was a lot, I put a lot on, oops, okay. And then everything else was like teaspoons, I think. So I just open all these up. We have paprika, cayenne pepper, crushed pepper, and garlic powder, garlic powder and salt and pepper. So, tablespoon of garlic powder, that's probably good. Tablespoon of red crushed pepper, I wouldn't put a lot in there. Because I also put way more, what do you call it, buttermilk in, so. My red peppers are thick. I'm gonna put a little more garlic powder in there too. Okay. And then, oh, shoot, teaspoon. Have everyone seen a teaspoon? Teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I should just put more. Teaspoon of smoked paprika. Okay. All right, so I think that's good. Oh, no salt and pepper. Ooh. All right. Okay. Dash of salt. Dash of pepper. I'm going to say dash for the purpose of the TikTok. All right. Man, those legs took way longer than I thought. So he does put a teaspoon of cracked pepper and some salt. And then he's going to whisk it. I'm going to whisk it. Um, okay. Here's a whisker. all together. Okay, so now we're whisking it. I think that's everything for this. Oh, it smells interesting. That's an interesting. Mine looks a little more like bread. This is a little more white, but 
Also, these look more thick. I wonder if I had the right. Mine says cultured buttermilk. That's the only buttermilk we had at our store. So hopefully this is this is a this is a journey. I see the red pepper. It smells weird. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe I put too much. That's why you probably should measure one cup. Right. Ooh, that smells interesting. Okay. And now we are going to place the chicken wings in the batter. I think this is the last step, so we'll take these wings back and then we put them in the fridge for a half hour to an hour. Dang, it's getting later. <laughs> it's already so early. Alright. And then you dip. Then throw the wings in the batter. I think that's right. Okay. So, hopefully we made enough batter because already I'm seeing them kind of peek out. So we're gonna just throw these all in. Ooh, okay. Raw chicken, not my thing to touch and deal with, but that's okay. We are we are touching and dealing with them. We are big, big people, big people panties today. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna make sure all of them are coated in this batter, which doesn't look it looks a lot. It looks a lot. I don't know if the buttermilk we got was the right buttermilk, so this should be. <sighs> this should be interesting. I didn't dig it either. I'm gonna wrap some wrap on this. So the cutting did get easier. You just really gotta like it's sawing through flavors. So you just gotta give it your all. <laughs> it still wasn't fun, and if I make this off camera, I definitely need the assistance of most. <laughs> I feel like he's better at that kind of stuff. Alright, so we're going to cover this and put it in for, I'm gonna do 40 minutes just to be safe. 24 hours they say, but we're gonna do 30. Okay, so while those marinate, I'm gonna go ahead and do the flour, which is basically the same thing minus the hot sauce. And this time I'm gonna actually get my my cup, so. <laughs> um, and measure this out maybe. And it looks like it's kind of all the same measurements, the teaspoons and all that. Oh, that's loud. So the flour batter is basically the same thing with two cups of flour. I literally just did way too much on my TikTok, like there's gonna be an eight part two. So that's one, and then we go, like one and a half, so I'm gonna do like a little bit more because I don't think it'll be the whole thing. Yeah, and so, I probably should say minus the sauce. So it's all the same ingredients minus the sauce, no sauce in the flour mixture. Yeah, there's definitely gonna have to be a part two. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna put like lighter in all this because I feel like I want a little heavy on my batter. And then, yeah, I'm pretty sure. The only thing I don't have is, oh, that was a lot, is bay leaves, old bay leaves. We could have find, or old bay. We saw bay leaves, but we did seal. I think my crushed red pepper is not that crushed. All right, so you do your salt, and then you said a lot of smoked cracked pepper. Okay. And then he said, whisk this up. I love whisking things. Oh, my chain. All right. That looks more like a flower. So this is what you're gonna like dip it into. Hey guys, look at that. Ooh, okay. Whisk that. Okay, that is good. And then we are going to do the next part. All right, so now we are going to heat up some canola oil in like a frying pan. Hopefully I can fry in this. Oh. The lid off of it. Oh, just put my nail in it. There we go. All right. 
So I'm gonna just go ahead and pour a good amount in. Ooh, don't want it to splash too much. Okay, it's splashing. Just a little bit more. Ooh, I hope that's okay. I'm scared, let me put it over here maybe. I don't know what I just did. TikTok with this. Part two, homie buffalo week. Average of the five. Okay. So I'm gonna take this off. So we're going to it's like a two-step thing. So we're gonna go from the wet batter to the dry batter. I'm gonna figure out how to film this so <laughs> okay. So we take the chicken wing out of one batter and then we're gonna cover it in flour. And then we're going to put that one on the plate. And just keep the process going. All right. These are a little easier to coat when they're cut though, I will say that. All right, so we're gonna just keep going with it all the way and do it on the plate. And then we're going to put it in our oil. So maybe have one hand wet, one hand dry. Now I do coat chickens, so I'm kind of a chicken coating expert. <laughs> this buttermilk tends to hang on to the powder a little better than I usually just do an egg. Cause that's how Babish does his, but you know, we're not going with Babish today. Love you Babs, but we're trying something a little different. Yeah, they're coating really nicely actually. This is something I can do. Mm -hmm. So I guess the buffalo is in this, like, this batter. That's what I'm kind of smelling. It smells good. I just think his was thicker. I really do think I got the wrong buttermilk, but again, our store, I guess I should look somewhere else, like Trader Joe's or something. Our store just had what I had, so it's like, hmm. Hopefully I made enough flour. It's really catching this flour good, though. Is that it? Down. Put this drumstick in. Put a little more flour. And that wouldn't be an issue. That's big. It's coated nice and big. Okay. Maybe I coated too much. Sorry. I, this could be boring. Just kind of skip ahead because I don't want to like have to wash my hands like so many times because they're already getting kind of chapped. But yeah. So it's such an interesting way to make chicken. All right, so pretty much all wings and stuff is left in here and some mini drums. I'm trying to get a good feel, see how much is left. Quite a few actually. All right. So I'm gonna just, I think that's it. I think there's these, okay. You know what, look like I'm, <laughs> I'm always just trying to do the shortcut way. I'm like, just stick them all in there. This is, this looks good. And the sauce looks pretty easy too, so. Again, I should be measuring things, but it seems like a lot more work. They look like little cinnamon rolls, <laughs> right? Like a pile of snow, you guys even see, I don't know. Okay. And these are our last two, so I think we made just the right amount of flour and Better. So, that's good. So I think this does have buffalo spice, so I don't know if like cheese sticks would be good in this batter, but we'll see. So there's our plate of chicken. I'm gonna wash my hands and then we're gonna fry them. Chicken is all battered up and ready to put in. So 
so I guess we'll just go. So then we are going to put it into the oil. Okay, I will not do that again because I know you're not supposed to splash the oil. So we're gonna let that just go ahead and boil, I guess. Oh yeah, those are looking nice. I guess I can tong place them in so I'm not splashing. All right, we're gonna make those nice and crispy. Get some tongs out, yes. Nice and crispy, we remove them and put them on a cooking tray. Wow, those do look really good. All right, so I'm gonna go, I need to get a little cleaning thing, I'm gonna get over here. No splash. Pause the scene or make a ruckus. All right. With our cooking, we're gonna go ahead and start melting the butter. I guess I could say that on my TikTok. He said to fix the butter. The trick is not burning these though. But I think they need to be crispy. They don't cook as quite as fast. So I'm gonna just put this whole butter, because that's my secret to cooking is putting all the butter in. Okay. This on TikTok. <laughs> okay. This is a lot. I need a personal videographer. Okay. Woo, it spilled over. Oh no, okay, it's fine, it's fine. So while that is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and start the sauce. I'm gonna start by melting a stick of butter. That was a little scary. I'm trying to take that out. So there's a little big. Turn this down a little bit. But yeah, we're gonna melt that. Dang. We want them crispy, so we're gonna go ahead and keep going with those. So then we're gonna put in some hot sauce into the butter. I got red hot franks. That was recording, all right. A little more on the chickies. All right, now we're gonna take some Worcestershire sauce. Okay, some Worcestershire sauce. I don't know how you say it. We're gonna put just a little bit of that in there. Is that enough? Probably. I was gonna say overdo it. And then some white vinegar. Oh. And then a dash of white vinegar. Okay. Check on these babies. They're not cooking as nice as the first. The first ones were just like, whoo! All right, and then the final thing we're gonna put is some garlic powder in the sauce. Oh. Garlic powder to top it off. And then we're gonna whisk it all. We're gonna whisk it. <laughs> high whisk, high reward. Okay. And then we're gonna whisk all that together. It's a lot of butter. I put a little more red sauce in that, but let's just, let's give that a minute. All right, so there's all our chicken, which by the way, that just looks really good. So I'm definitely gonna put some aside because I'm just not really great when it comes to sauces. But there's chicken, looks bomb, and now we're gonna put some sauce on and try it 
the buffalo wings out. All right, so let me do my TikTok over here. So once you have your chicken wings done, the ones that you want sauce, you're gonna put into a big bowl to pour that sauce over and shake it up. Oh my God, they smell so good. And if you don't know if your sauce is gonna turn out like me, I did put some aside because it just looks good, kind of dry too. But we're gonna try that sauce because that's what we started to do. All right, so take these two out, you guys, and then we'll be ready. So turn that off. My sauce looks looks iffy, but here we go. So we are going to take these put this in there. Okay. And he just shook it around, so we are going to try and do that. This feels, <laughs> I don't know how this looks, but um, all right, it smells pretty good actually. So we are going to put that and then we're going to coat it with, woo. Ooh, it kind of smells good. It didn't look that good, but it kind of smells good. Did it just splash on me? It does kind of smell good, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. It kind of smells pretty good. <laughs> like, better than it looks. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh my God. Okay, it smells better when I put it on the chin. I think that's awesome, Miola. All right, so let's shake it up. So now we're gonna shake it up. Ooh, get it in that batter. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. This looks kind of cool actually. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, you guys can see better. Let me show you. Let me do another one. We're going to, I don't know. He did it like they flipped. But it splashes too much. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but you know. Such is life. It does smell good. After I show it on aesthetic, I'm gonna just kind of flip it around in there. Give it a good shake in the sauce. <laughs> oh my gosh, these look so good. Actually, they smell good. I don't know if they look good, but. Shake in the sauce sauce in the wings. <laughs> I'm doing like a TikTok on my Instagram story too. All right, so what I think I'm gonna do is just go ahead and just dip my hands. Did that work? I don't know. Just get my hands in there. I have to have a paper towel somewhere. Here, I'll take this. I'm really excited about these. Okay, I'm gonna try them. Right. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just I'm not really sure how you coat them. Is that more the vibe? Are we driving with that? <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm gonna flip them in here. And just really coat them. I feel like, oh my God, I keep splattering. I feel like this would be easier the second time around. Like I kind of feel like I make everything so complicated the first time because I'm overwhelmed. But I think this might be kind of worth it. It smells really good. And I like mine really crispy, so you might be like, those aren't too well done. No such thing in my book. All right, so we're gonna just go ahead. Oh my God, I gotta show something. I don't know why it looks. I'll just pat my own back over here. All right. Mmm, look at those. Because I'm going to put them on the plate anyways. So let's just do one more. All right. The sauce doesn't look terrible. Mmm. Yes. 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 <laughs> Proud of myself. Yes. I feel like Jessica Simpson. Ah, oh, buffalo. Buffaloes don't have wings. Jessica. Okay, these are my little, my little two tests over here with those sauces. 
impeccable. All right, they're heavy. Oh, okay. Let me take them down and I'll do my first impressions here, but then you guys will also get the first impressions. Here's the taste test. Mm. Oh my god. This is actually so good. Mm. These are amazing, like for Moses' reaction. Part three of Holy Vocal Wings cooking with mm. Trish. This is the taste test and all. Okay. Need the mom. Moses, it's reactive. I was just like, when you eat all this, I'll just be like, old pig. And he says, I'm hungry. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh my god, I'm overwhelmed. Ah! Also going over here. Oh, can't even see it over here. Okay. Is that good? Okay. I'm very excited. So I um I like hand. <laughs> I, I did the wings, like I cut the wings, I cut everything off. Right. Okay, these are dry and these are buffalo. So which one I know you're gonna like the dry, so can you try the buffalo? I'll start with this. Okay, huh? This looks like a good piece. Okay, so I told him I can't cut everything. This is buffalo. Okay. All right, you ready? It's well done. Crispy. Moses' reaction. Be honest. I'm so nervous. Ah! Okay. Wow. Good? Yes. Actually? The crisp on this thing. You like it? <laughs> yeah. And the sausage know. is not even, uh, it's not bad. Right. It's not bad. I thought the sauce was pretty good because I ate mine with sauce. This one has a lot of sauce on it. Let me show my TikTok. But the crispy layer on it is crazy. He likes the crispy. Here's the sauce. The crispy layer is good, right? I think it's the buttermilk. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. Mmm. -hmm. I'm gonna try a drumstick on TikTok. Mm -hmm. All right. So these are just the drumstick batter. No, I know you're gonna like this. You want this well done, then? I'll take this one. It's not well done. Okay, ready? Yes. <laughs> mm hmm. Mmm. What do you rate it? We're almost out of time. 10 out of 10. And honey, the buffalo? <laughs> 9 out of 10. Wow, yay! <laughs> All right. So, what's the verdict? Oh! That lingo was good. Was it? Yeah. My first one was good, and then I've been to that one, I was like, ooh. I love, the, I do love, it is like KFC, the fried chicken, the batter. Looks better. Really? Not too seasoned? No. Because the batter itself had a lot of like cayenne, paprika. Mm. What do you rate it as far as our chicken? Well, when I do baked chicken, I can cut, the, cut them too. I don't know if I should. I feel like I cut an artery. I don't want to stop bleeding. No, I mean, it's just, you just, um, I don't know. It, just that one piece was odd. <laughs> Oops. I cut it. You should have seen me cut it. I cut it and I saw blood splatter. And I was like, oh, I like didn't want to finish it. I was going to throw away all the chicken and just do drumsticks, but. I felt bad I wasn't here. It was like maybe. Yeah. I feel like, <laughs> I said that. I'm like, next time, like, if we make these off camera, all the time we'll just cut it. Because I just think I just did it wrong. The guy shows, like, how to do the tendon and stuff, but I just. I don't know. I like the bubble sauce, honestly. I like a little it's sauce good. on it. It's really good. Yeah. You like it dry, though. But also, the. No, the wink was actually even better. Oh yeah, this one's delicious. I just had a weird one. Wow. The wing was better than I was not thinking the sauce was gonna pass the test. <laughs> sauce is always my downfall. If I made my own sauce, it's like, mm-mm. But also the ingredients didn't sound good to me, but all together, it's good together. I agree, I was like, mm. Hot sauce, Worcestershire sauce, like just sauce in general. 
And then even in the flour, like when I made the buttermilk, I also think the buttermilk is different. I think it was thicker. So I think we need to go to like Trader Joe's and get like a thicker buttermilk. But one, I think the batter would be thicker and I think we should try it overnight because he suggested doing 24 hours and mm -hmm. I only did a half hour. But I honestly think if we get the right buttermilk and I put it in overnight, I just need to start marinating chicken the next day, even for quesadillas or anything. And the fact that you got this crisp. <laughs> Good? That's amazing. Yeah, I think it's the buttermilk. Mmm. That's really good. Yay! Alright. Well, I'm thirsty. I would use a success. But, oh, how did you break it on chicken? As far as baked, or fried that we do, and this. This is better than what we usually make. Really? Mm -hmm. mm. The ones we make, it's really good and fresh, but flavor wise, it's not like I know you like you want seasoning. It doesn't have like a lot of flavor. I like that. And this one, but also the actual breading, like the breading of it, that's amazing. It's so tasty too. I gotta make it for my mom and sister too. Mmm. You can hear it from over there. Yeah, that's amazing. Ooh, that's a nice crunch. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I like all of them. I like the baked chicken. I like this. It's just And Why do you like it? Are you done with this one? All right, that was cooking with trash. That's <laughs> it was a journey, babe. When you like, I had just sat down when you came back. Like it was like an hour of me trying to cut those. It was I was gonna give up, but I'm glad I didn't. I'll link below the original Savage 2005 merch. Moses, my fiance, and um, <laughs> chicken. Good. Can you lick me? <laughs> oh, I mean, if you want. 